What's going on everybody? I wanted to shoot this video before it started heavy raining. Uh, this is the 28RKS hideout travel trailer. Really awesome rear kitchen floor plan. Uh, going over the specs first, our weight is looking at 6,954 pounds and then our tip to tip length is 32 feet 11 inches. This is also one of the campers featured in our July sale going on right now until the 24th of this month. And as you can see, the sale price comes out to be 28,990. So really awesome price. So now getting started with the outside first, you have your power tongue jack at the front, dual propane tanks just behind there. And you even have some diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap to just help protect it. And since this is a Keystone brand, you do have the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty. Side marker cameras. So you can uh, purchase a camera for your side marker and be able to view the sides of your camper while you are taking it down the road. So that can be really nice. Some pass-through storage. Always awesome to have. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks. And you also have a power awning with an LED light strip. Bluetooth capable outside speakers, solid steps at your main entrance, and these will fold into your camper nicely. You also have this helper handle too. And right next to that is a leash holder for your pet, and it also doubles as a bottle opener. 110 outlet on the outside, so you can plug something in if you want. And then towards the end, you actually have an outside kitchen. So, mini fridge, you can put all types of beverages and stuff in there, fruit, things like that. Open storage, uh, you can pretty much put just plates, utensils, anything you want. And you actually have a couple burners as well. The fact that it's under your awning means even if it's a rainy day like today, you can still be outside cooking. Uh, water heater. And then coming back around, on our non-camping side, you have one slide out. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. So starting here at the front of our camper, we have our queen size mattress. And you actually have a bit of walking space on either side to help get into the bed. Lifting the mattress up, you do have some storage underneath. And tables are on both sides. The one on the right is unique in the fact that it also doubles as a laundry hamper that goes out into your pass-through storage. So you don't have to worry about or even think about your dirty clothes when you're on vacation. You can just throw them in there and not even think about it. Just up above is one of your wardrobes. You each have one. Plus you have the mirror panels on it open shelving that extends all the way across and you also have windows on either sides as well as outlets to charge your electronics and then if you need even more closet space you actually have some so another built-in clothes rack up there and a couple drawers down below and then this wall at the foot of your bed is also for a tv so you can hang a tv up there you have your hookups and stuff for it coming out here into our bathroom you have your angled porcelain foot flush toilet and you actually have quite a bit of leg space there to do your business and then across is the shower really pretty seafoam green teal whatever color you want to call it um, for your shower door vent fan up above and you actually can open it up so um, it can also be used as a skylight let some of that natural light coming in here across from your toilet is your sink you got some storage below power if you need it and then of course a medicine cabinet and then next to your uh, entrance into your camper is your convenience center so access that slide out awning uh, water pump into your lights pretty much anything is all right there love that it's not too far from your door and now into the main living portion of the camper just behind that bathroom wall is your entertainment center. I love that it mimics an actual fireplace with the mantle and everything. Um, but you do have an electric 32-inch fireplace. And the fact that it is electric and not propane means you can use all of your campsite's electricity that you want for this. You don't have to worry about your uh, propane tank at all. And it actually heats up your campers. So if it happens to be pretty chill, you can pop that on and it feels great. Or you can just turn the pretty lights on storage on either side and this could probably be used for like board games dvds extra electronics 
open shelving up above, and then your Furion speaker system for those outside speakers. That's where you can access it right here, as well as those inside speakers. Pretty big size TV. And then you have your sleeper sofa, so this will fold into a sleeping spot um, for one to two guests, depending on size. Across the way is your Thomas Paine Collection Theater Reclining Seats. I actually love that these aren't attached because you can change the angles of them if you want. Um, so you can just move it around how you please. Extra table space in between for some decorations and whatnots. Power. And then just behind, if you can see, you actually have a built-in road back system. So this comes with a 30-foot a hose that connects in there and you're able to vacuum up every square inch of this camper. It's just one less thing you uh, don't have to bring while you are camping because it is a built-in vacuum. Your booth dinette is right next to your sofa, so this will fold into a sleeping space um, for any type of extra guests or friends or kids that are wanting to stay with you. And the table is also not attached, so if you want to take that outside and use it as an extra dining room table out there, you can. Storage is down below the booth on the left. Pretty awesome. And now into our gorgeous rear kitchen. So huge refrigerator. Pantry space right next to that. And that actually goes back very far. And then next to your fridge is your Greystone microwave range hood. And then your glass cover over your three burners. And this doubles as a backsplash so you can fold it up like so. And especially if you're cooking something that splashes everywhere, bacon, anything super greasy, you can just wipe it up pretty nicely and not have to worry about it getting all over your walls. And then there is your oven. Power over there as well as over there for any type of small appliances that you want to plug in. And I love that there is two windows. A lot of the time you'll just see one window in your kitchen area. But the fact that you have two just means even more natural light is coming in. And you have an ample amount of countertop space for food prep. Couple drawers down below. This really neat angled cabinet. And then a few more over here. Love this glass. And then you have your stainless steel open mount sink with a sprayer and even more storage down below. So if you guys have any questions or concerns about this hideout, feel free to let us know and we will be happy to help.